Hey, I hope that you guys are doing well. I want to make a video here on Luck and Coffee. So this is going to be ticker symbol LK. Now, Luck and Coffee, if you're not familiar with it, they uh, were, were found to have fabricated their sales. So just to put it simply, let's say they sell one coffee. Well, in the books, they said they actually sold two coffees and, heck, maybe even a biscotti. So three sales in there. Uh, so this was um, fabricating their sales, misleading investors, and eventually this came out, and their stock price plummeted, and they ended up getting uh, halted for a period of time, and now the NASDAQ is filing to get them delisted, so booted clean off of the exchange, uh, so obviously nothing but negatives here for LK. Personally, this is not going to be something that I would want to invest in. Uh, or even trade because the overall consensus is negative. Um, and there's no real uh, trend that this thing is going to reverse back to the upside. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and look at the chart for those who are interested. So, boom, let's fling it up here on the screen. All right, so here it is. Here's Lucky. You know, we were trading for some period of time. In November, we started this upward trend. We hit highs about $50 a share. That was early this year. Early this year, just a few months ago, this thing was trading at $50 a share. You can see it closed here on Friday at a buck thirty-nine. Again, is this something that you want to have your money invested in? Um, then we started trending down, trending down, and then boom, it came out. We dropped from $25-ish a share all the way down to about like 4 or $5 a share in a day. In a day, just evaporated, poof, gone. It was crazy. Uh, now, they were halted for a long period of time, and then they finally came back up uh, and that they could be traded um, over the course of this week. So now let's go ahead and look at that. So I'm going to go to a five-day, five-minute time frame. So boom, here we can see that trading. Now you can see we, we opened up, let's call it right in here around, shoot, we'll call it right in here around like $3 a share, right? That is where we say we opened up, and now we're trading down here at about $1.40. You can see we're down about 50% in three days, 50%. Um, so if you invested, say, you know, $1,000 and you were thinking, oh, man, this thing's got to come back up to $25 a share or even $5 a share from $3, you were sadly mistaken. And this thing has just continued to fall and fall. And you can think, well, you know, I didn't buy in with my $1,000 at $3 a share, but now I'm going to buy in at $1,000 at $1.40 a share. That is a good thinking. But ask yourself, if this thing dropped from $3 all the way down to $1.40 in three days, why can't it go down to $1? Why can't this thing go down to $0.50? Cents? You know, it could just get delisted, and then you'd be left with nothing. Uh, so keep that in mind. But nonetheless, you know, it looks as if here on Friday we gained some form of support down here around $1.30. Sense. Now, if we move it into the one-day, one-minute time frame, we can see this a little bit more clearly. So I'll go ahead and scoot it over. So here's our support down here around $1.35. So boom. And you can actually see after hours we tapped on it once too. Um, so we, we saw that support, and then we pushed back up. Now, if you're familiar with penny stocks or even – it doesn't have to be a penny stock, but something trading below $10, usually what you'll see is at the $1.50 increments – you'll see support and resistance depending on which direction you're hitting it from. And that was the case here on Luckin. We, we zoomed all the way down here to $1.35. We started to push back up, and as we got close to $1.50, we saw resistance. So, boom, we'll throw in a line right there at $1.50. From there, we really just traded in a channel in between $1.35 and $1.50 throughout the course of the day. Um, and we saw, like, a nice little middle ground right in here about $1.50. 40, and then we closed out the day. Now, let's say that this thing opens up on Monday uh, and it starts to push higher. What would be some levels that I would look at um, to that it would need to break through, right? Uh, obviously, a dollar and fifty cents. But as we start to move higher, you can see that we tried to hold some support in here around a dollar sixty, and we couldn't really hold. So, a dollar sixty would be the next price point. And then from there, you know, this was really just a bit of a waterfall sell-off. So ideally, I would look up here towards the upper one. So if we move this back out again uh, to the five-minute chart, 
boom, there we go. I would look close to the upper ones. As we get close to that $2 resistance, people are going to know that that's going to act as a resistance. So they're going to drop their order down to say a dollar and ninety cents. Um, so as we get close, you can see here even pre-market, uh, we found support at a dollar eighty-five. So what was a support once you break through it is now a resistance. So maybe we're going to have some resistance in here around a dollar and eighty-five cents. From there, obviously that two dollar price point is going to be a resistance. So we'll go ahead and put that one in as well, and that holds true with the whole fifty cent and dollar increment marks and you can see it here on Thursday it acted as a support pretty well you know we poked below it and then we saw buyers step in so this could have been a really profitable trade if you had um, you know the risk tolerance to take it on uh, you know you're looking at about a 12 percent move over the course of about an hour uh, now does that mean that it's going to happen again no by no means does it mean it's going to happen again but it's just something to consider um, you know, as you look at this stock or as you trade this stock. So as we're moving up, let's go over this again. A dollar fifty, a dollar sixty, a dollar eighty-five, and then two dollars are going to be the big resistance levels that I would look at to see luck and push through um, if it wanted to reverse this uh, now constant downward trend that it has. Um, and you know, eventually this thing will probably see a minor pop just with people who are shorting it. Uh, as it starts to move up, you know, they might want to go ahead and take profits uh, before this thing just gets kicked to the curb if that does so happen. Now to the downside, really we have a ton of downside and that is where I see luck and going. If this thing, uh, you know, breaks down below a dollar and thirty cents, the next price point that I would look at would be one dollar. Uh, so again, on the penny stocks, those 50 cent and dollar increments are going to be the big support and resistance levels. Obviously, Luckin has never traded this low. Um, so what I'm looking to see is it to break down back through a dollar and 35 cents and then push lower, closer to a dollar a share. And you know, that, that is still a hefty loss to take on if you were to buy in at a dollar 30 and then, or a dollar, say 40, and then sell out at a dollar a share you know that's still a hefty loss if you're trying to go long what i would want to see on luckin at least here on the chart is that it shows valid uh consolidation and support and then once that consolidation is completed and it starts to move upward that it's consistently showing higher lows and breaking through some of those resistance levels that I've just stated. That is what I would want to see. Now again, there's a lot of negativity around LK, so I think my investments would be better suited elsewhere. But for you guys, if you're willing to take on the risk, obviously make sure that you have a plan in place prior to getting into the trade um, so that you can realize what's the risk reward potential given so I hope you guys find this video helpful. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, leave a comment, um, again, what you think uh, or how I can make these videos better for you guys in the future. With that, best of luck to you guys trading, and I'll catch you in the next one.